Andy here from On The Grow, and today we're going to be doing a broccoli test, which we're going to be using dirt versus hydroponics. So let's go ahead and go into the parameters of this test. Over here, we have our soils. For our soils, we're going to be using coconut coir, which is going to be our control group. The reason behind that is because coconut coir does not have any nutrients in it. And then next to that is our Texas Pier. Texas Pier is a locally sourced soil for us and it has nutrients in it because of the compost. And then over on our hydroponic side, we have our Epsom salt um, water mixture that we're gonna be using to bottom water this. And then we have our Maxi Grow to bottom water this one. These are both going to be grown on a biostrate growing material because it holds water and that's what we need for these broccoli. We've gone ahead and seeded all these trays with 30 grams of seed per tray and I believe we're going to be stacking these as well. We're going to stack these two together and these two together so that way we don't get dirt onto the biostrate material because it is supposed to be hydroponics. Whew, that was a lot to say. <laughs> Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to put bricks on top of these for, um, I think two, two to three days and then remove the brick and we will do our day by day play. <laughs> day 12 of our broccoli soils versus hydroponics test. And as you can tell, the growth is pretty different on each one of them. Uh, Texas Pier is looking very, very full over here. And the coconut core is a little scattered in areas. Back here, it's a little low, but it's still super full looking. Our Epsom salt <laughs> fell behind a little bit, but it's still very uniform growth and it still looks really nice. And then our Maxi Grow did very great. The cotyledons on these are actually very big compared to all the other ones. But here in the center, I think we just didn't get enough airflow. So it started kind, kind of dying off right here. So I don't know if this is gonna be edible like these ones will be, but I think as far as weight, it will have a good comparison to these ones over here. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and harvest these and then we'll get the weights for you and we will go from there. Okay, so I just finished harvesting these. So let's go over the weights real quick and then we'll go over what did work and what didn't work. So over here with the Epsom salt, we got a weight of 217 grams, which is pretty low. <laughs> um, and then over on our Maxi Grow, we got 274 grams, which once again, that was pretty low. And then over on our Cocoa Core, we got 326 grams, which was awesome. And then even more awesome, over on our Texas Pier, we got 353 grams. 
So, what worked and what didn't work. Over here with our hydroponics, we didn't get the best results with weight and actually with the um, maxi grow, because of poor airflow, the center of it started to get kind of mushy and started rotting. So this one's gonna be thrown out. Um, but I mean, other than that, I mean, it just, it just didn't grow that well. Um, and then with our soils, it's still, once again, as far as what didn't work, you have to wash it or be much more vigilant on how you're cutting it. So it takes a little bit more care and a little bit more attention. Um, but it still produced a really great product that looked beautiful and I'm very excited to use that. Um, and what did work, our soils. Our soils beat our hydroponics. We still need to figure out how to get these to grow better, which is gonna be great because then we won't have to spend more time cutting and being careful, which I'm actually excited about. <laughs> um, so I think that is about it here. Uh, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We always encourage everyone to go and do little tests like this in their space too, to figure out what works for them. Because what we may find working for us or even not working may be different for you. Um, so with that said, also, if you want to follow us on Instagram, we are at On The Grow Farms. Thank you and have a great day.